Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we are using the Answer is Simple Oracle Cards by Sonia Juquette. And I really love this deck. Um, I'm not sure if I've pronounced the name correctly, but I really love this deck. I love how simple the messages are. And I love that you could use it for any situation. And it's really... Um, the, the answers are really just there, very clear. And we have three options today. If you, anyone knows um, how to train your dragon or dragon's edge, we have here a Night Fury, which is your option number one. And then we have a Gronkle here, which is your option number two. And we have a Monstrous Nightmare here, which is your option number three. So it's, um, uh, once again, it's um, option number one, option number two, and option number three. Go ahead, make your selection, and you can go directly to your reading. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, which is this Night Fury uh, that's over here, I have just spread out the cards um, because I'm still, I, have, I still have my hand on a cast, and it's difficult for me to put, uh, to shuffle the cards, well, I can't really. So I've just put, put out the cards like this, and I'm gonna feel what is your message for this week? What is it that you need to hear? at this moment and I feel like the card that you need is this one here. So it says give yourself the best and it's the option, uh, it's the number 58. So I'm gonna just put away these cards. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we have the number 58 and it, the card reads give yourself the best. And I think this card refers to you giving yourself the best regardless of your circumstances, regardless of what the world presents to you right now. And I feel like uh, for some of you, you may be reluctant to give yourself the best. You may be reluctant to celebrate or reluctant to go all out as you normally would or um, at least try to pamper yourself in the situation or give yourself something that you desire there may be a reluctance to be able to enjoy what is and to celebrate what is there and this card is saying well don't hold back you know just go all out and give yourself the best and not just give yourself the best but try to like really enjoy it really um be in that moment where you can you know just immerse yourself in all the wonder and all the joy and all the festivity that there is i feel also here that that some around you may not be um as keen as you are to celebrate in that way and you might not be keen as well but this card is talking about really just being able to go all out and, and giving yourself that and just making an effort making an extra effort this time around to be able to celebrate to be able to do what it is that you need to do and um you know just bring do what it is that you need to do in order to make yourself feel better in order to feel loved and to feel secure and to to actually um just bring a different energy through to you so i feel here that um you might have been in a space where uh things have, might have been a bit difficult for you or you might not have been you might have been too busy to actually uh, celebrate something or you might be in some degree of stress where you're not really able to let yourself go not really able to release and to to celebrate and um, it might be that you're also traveling at the last minute or um, you're not you know you're not really able to um, to secure the the happiness that you desire in this week um, but I, I feel like even if you are like traveling till the last day this week and you are you know, you're returning home or you are are going somewhere where where you're not going to be at home. I feel like you need to be able to take some day out of this week and just really relax, really let, just give yourself a chance to to sorry for the noise of the cars out here, but just really give yourself a chance to go inward and um, feel and just be grounded in this time. I think that's where the peace is going to come from. And once you are able to feel this peace in you, once you're able to really um, uh, go into it and connect to the world around you and feel part of it, what's going to happen is that you are going to be able to release something that gives yourself the best. There's also a feeling here that um, when you give yourself the best, when you celebrate something, when you're able to feel festive about something, whether it's Christmas for some of you or Hanukkah, I guess it's past or um, or something that um, 
uh, something something at all whatever it is the solstice perhaps that what what's going to happen is that uh, it's going to inject a different vibration into you and it's going to be able to draw something to you which is going to bring about more abundance and uh, a, f- a sense of of greater things uh, and um there's a feeling here that there's a chance to unlock something, to unlock something that's been um, can, kind of out of your reach for a while. So the way to do this is not to focus on that thing that you want, but rather to focus on yourself and give yourself the best. So, uh, you know, going inward and treating yourself, pampering yourself, um, making an extra effort for yourself is actually what's going to take you the long way here and even the messages even if you're not able to do that at the beginning or even if it's hard to do it try to do that try to at least spend a few minutes giving yourself the best either by going inward and um and and connecting with yourself or by allowing yourself to celebrate that which is around you that which is material um in this case in this photo yeah i mean in this card it's a cake that this person's enjoying and um it's quite a festive looking cake and it looks like quite a lot of effort went into it and she's looking at it uh in with with a fair amount of interest but also i would think a certain lust and i think that there's like you know like she's really going to enjoy this cake and she's put on a headdress and and dressed up for the occasion and I think there's nothing stopping you from from doing the same. There's nothing stopping you from just dressing up and honoring yourself in the way that you need to honor yourself in whichever way, whatever that means. For for in this photo, this person is depicted as wearing a headdress. Perhaps for you, it means wearing something else. Perhaps it means doing something for yourself that you don't normally do, and um, just being able to prepare something that you know you will enjoy. Just honoring yourself and loving yourself enough to make yourself something that you will enjoy and it doesn't necessarily mean that you've got to spend loads of money doing it or anything like that it could just be ingredients in your home it could just be that you create something for yourself that you like um, using some scissors and some paper and some coloring pencils Um, but just go out of your way to do something nice for yourself this week and um, the you'll be rewarded by a change of the energy and a change of your own vibration All right, so I'm wishing you a fabulous week as you go along. For those of you who are celebrating Christmas, uh, Merry Christmas to you all. And either way, may you all have a lovely time with family or with friends and however you're spending it. Um, Be safe, stay healthy, and many, many blessings from Kismet Rising. So for those of you who've chosen the Gronkle here or option number two, I've just spread out the cards that I'm going to go ahead and feel through them. To see which one comes it needs to come out for you and i just feel like i need to go through these cards here first hmm. yeah i keep getting drawn back to these cards here There's something in here for you i think it's this one And the card reads, you are not afraid, and it's the number 10. Okay, so for those of you who have chosen this option here, what I think has happened is that there has been a setback of some sort, and you're feeling like um, you have obstacles ahead of you. Now, it could be that you haven't had a setback, but you're not feeling as confident as you usually do you're not really in touch with your power or you're not really able to manifest as you normally would in your life so I feel like this card is for quite a lot of people who are not feeling as confident for whatever reason perhaps you've had a setback perhaps things have not gone according to the plan perhaps things have worked out in a way that has made you question whether you're on the right path or whether what you're doing is right, or question your faith, or question the universe. And this card is here to say that, listen, you know, it doesn't matter what you're being, what you're facing right now, no matter how huge it seems, no matter how insurmountable it may seem, no matter how small you may feel within that situation, no matter how vulnerable you may feel within that situation, there's nothing to be afraid of here. You know, it could be that you're afraid of something um, that is, you know, not even real or something that is just a phobia that you have and uh, 
and it's something that's holding you down and you're feeling um you're feeling quite overpowered by it uh, but this card is basically saying well you, you don't there's nothing to be afraid of uh it's telling you not to be afraid it's telling you are not afraid remember that you are not afraid it's reminding you that not just that you can overcome this or that this is not insurmountable but rather than you are not afraid you can do this and uh, it's reminding you that you know this about yourself and even if you're not in touch with that feeling right now it's telling you to well not necessarily to get in touch with it but to recognize that you are not afraid it's telling you to not to simply take on a particular feeling because you're doing a card reading um, that tells you to do it but rather to say well here's a situation in which I'm feeling like um like I'm not afraid anymore and it's okay to feel that and it regardless of what I'm facing right now no matter how giant the problem may be I am going to be okay in this situation now I feel here there might be if not for every single one of you but for some of you you might have experienced a recent disappointment you might have had expectations um not being uh, realized um you might have banked on something and it didn't come to fruition and I feel here that there's um that there's this kind of disappointment or you might have trusted someone and they have let you down um it's not necessarily in a direct manner where you feel like they've let you down or that you can talk to them about it but rather that somebody's kind of behaved in a way where they've you it may, it's made you feel not as secure as you normally would feel with them perhaps you feel a little less welcome or uh, less secure, uh, less loved, maybe. And uh, this card is also talking about if you are in that situation and saying, well, you know, you don't need to feel smaller in the situation. You don't need to feel intimidated by what's going on. And even though it, you may, the result of, uh, how, of what's happened may make you feel intimidated, there's no reason to own that and stay in that. And you can allow yourself to feel like it as an equal to to that other person and uh, to overcome the situation that you felt poorly about. The other thing is that if it's something that you've been trying to do that you haven't been able to do and as a result you're feeling despondent or you're despairing about it, you're disappointed, then the card here is talking also about, you know, there being another chance um, that the moment is it's not necessarily that this is not the right time for it but rather that there's you need to grow into a certain situation so you need to find out if it's what you really want and uh if it's where you really want to head to uh and that maybe there's something else around the corner that's going to pull you in a different direction and it's also talking about like you changing quite a lot right now and a lot of things changing underneath you or around you that's going to somehow pull you in a different direction than you think you're going to head into so with all of this it's saying you don't have to be afraid and I know that this is just a weekly article and this card is just for this week but I feel for some of you this energy um, is oh this is a message that lasts right until February and as you go ahead it's something that um, you need to um, just remember, you know, that you are not afraid in these circumstances. You're not afraid. You can handle this. There's no reason to feel afraid. There's no reason to really be despondent and to be despairing. There are other ways around this and there there is a solution. Ultimately, it's just that um, it might not happen right now as you'd like it to, but it will in the in the future. You just need to get past this big hurdle that is ahead of you Um for some of the for those of you where that applies and um and as you've gone as you've gone past that then you'll be fine for some of you that big hurdle is nothing more than an assurance that things are going to be okay and it's not really anything that needs to be worked through but rather something that where you're giving yourself the assurance that things are going to be okay all right so i hope that message has been helpful i want to wish all of those of you who are celebrating christmas this year a very merry christmas and uh or any other um occasions a happy solstice to many of you who um observe that and um yes i wish you um safe passage um, may you stay well 
and may you be healthy, may you be safe, and many, many blessings from Kismet Rising. Those of you who have chosen the third option, which is right here, this is called A Monstrous Nightmare, if you follow the How to Train Your Dragon series. And I'm looking for a card for you for your weekly oracle, how you go along. What is it that you need to know as you go along? And I feel quite strongly that it's this card. Usually I feel like I need to spend a bit more time with it, but this feels like the right card for you. Okay, so I'm going to choose that, but I feel like right now as I've chosen this card that there might be something else for you because it feels like there are two groups of you who, who are being drawn to this option. And this is one of the, um, the options, but I'm just going to see if there's anything else. So let's see. And I'm going to go with this one here. Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the option number three, which is the mon uh, monstrous nightmare um, dragon here, uh, the, we have chosen two cards for you. So the first is number 13, and it's clear the fog. And the second is number 46, and it's take bite sized steps. So I thought that when I picked this card, I felt, ah, there's two different energies coming through here and I need to choose another card and I expect the card to have quite different colors, quite a different energy, but I feel like the energy here is very similar and it's more like the, the, the message that I'm getting from these cards is that right now things are a bit bleak, that you might be finding things quite sad, you might be having a hard time, it might be feeling quite dark for you, you might be feeling quite low energy and um you might also be feeling like there's very little to feel happy about. There may be those around you who are trying to help you, trying to assist you uh, to go along so that you could um, feel better or, or you could try to, to come out of a certain slump or just to give you some assistance, perhaps to find a job or to find a home or to uh, fix your car or to help you buy a new car or something like this. But... Um, it's, it's difficult for you to get through this. It's difficult for you to get through the sadness. It's difficult for you to clear the fog, to, to move forth from this energy that you're feeling right now. So th this card or this reading, I want to say is talking about to the first step is just to clear the fog. The first step is to get through this energy. And the best way to do that within this situation is to actually just feel what you're feeling right now and acknowledge it. Now, for some of you, you might not be feeling any of that. You know, you might be going along merrily and having a great old time. And there's this card, Clear the Fog. And I want to say that for those of you who have that, um, there is something that you're not being able to, you're not seeing as clearly as you should be right now. So ask yourself, what is it? Where is it that your intuition has been nagging you and saying, well, something here that I don't really believe in or something here that I'm told to believe in, but it's not really true. And what is it that I should be doing about that? Or what? Is, where is it that I could take a closer look? So, um, but for the others of you, this card is really about clearing the fog because there's a sudden feeling of depression or there's a sudden feeling of being let down by something and not being able to come up um, from it. Now, it might just be that the days are dark and long and you're not really able to uh, work through that that um, the darkness uh, of the weather and this is making you feel down as well and so I would suggest that if that is the case then to just be able to do something festive or, or get out if it's possible and um, meet some people if that's possible and um, to, or just do some activities do something some just do something being able to get out even if it means going for a walk and seeing other people not necessarily getting up close to them and um, just you know or saying hello to a person at a distance it might be that you call up a person at a distance and say hello even somebody that you haven't spoken to for a very long time or somebody that you feel a certain degree of connection to but you don't always feel like you can actually call them and I feel here that if you do that it'll help clear the fog it'll help bring you out of this energy I feel also that once that fog is cleared once you're feeling a little bit better it's important to take bite sized steps as it says here it's important to take it one step at a time because 
it's not necessarily going to be that you, you clear the fog and it's going to be sunny. The next thing is going to be sunny. It's going to be well. Everything's going to be going well. Um, it's about actually coming out of the certain space that you're in and then being able to forge your way f uh, forward. And that might mean a long journey ahead of you. It might take time. It might take several months. It might take a lot of time before you can actually do that. And But you need to be able to clear the fog in order to be able to experience the stamina, to know that you have the strength to be able to take those bright side steps and that you're in it for the long haul, that you're in it until you are in a better space and you're determined to be able to have it. So I feel like there is determination here, there is resilience, there is stamina, and it's only about being able to clear what is standing in your way of that right now to be able to experience that. And I feel that here um, things can really go well if you if you just um, allow it to. So for some of you, and this might just be one or two of you, um, but you know, it might be that you st you're in the way of your own happiness. You're in the way of making that step forward. And it's almost like you've surrendered to the difficulty or the, the hardship or that things are not going to be the way you want it to be, the way you desire it to be, the way you yearn for it to be deep down. And that so you've accepted how things are. And uh, it's not easy to do that. Um, it's not easy to go on in your daily life because you've done that. And it's not easy to dream about something. But then this card is, is also saying, well, you know, if you clear the fog, you'll be able to dream again. You'll be able to imagine what it feels like to be on a path where you're headed somewhere, where you have a destination that you want to get to, where you have the determination to follow through with that. And you have the energy to actually start up with it, to embark upon it. Um, because, you know, at the end of the day, very, very often it's about taking those first steps, you know, it's about just starting it. So it could also be that you've mean, been meaning to do something for some time and you haven't been able to do it and you've just been putting it off for a while and time is running out and it's saying, well, you know what, just clear the fog, clear the the, the, the past um, feelings that you have about that situation and, and just start with it, you know, just start it slowly. It's going to take some time to do it all, but you know, just start it and, and start with small pieces, start with small, small bite sides steps, as it says here in this card. I also get the feeling like the space that you've been in has been one where you are able to create things, but you've not been using that energy. But nevertheless, it's been almost like a bewitched um, feeling a bit of each state that you've been and what you're moving into, you're moving into a newer state, you're moving into a, um, purity and you're moving into a state where there's almost like um, a guaranteed success if you do take those bite-sized steps, if you do actually um, stay on a path and work towards it and, and be determined towards uh, reaching your goal. And just remember that, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day it doesn't take, it does take, sorry, it does take time to, to actually get to a certain space sometimes. And so if you're feeling down and you, you're not feeling that life is treating you so well right now, um, just remember that one step at a time towards feeling better and towards getting to a better space. All right. So um, I want to just close my eyes and take a moment and feel what else is here, because I feel like there's definitely people have chosen the option number three. And this message is probably not resonating entirely. So I just want to feel what else is here for you. Okay, so another message I'm getting is that if you need to travel this week, don't do so with trepidation. Okay, do so um, willingly. So if you are experiencing trepidation, then perhaps um, change your plans or, or choose not to or choose to overcome the trepidation. But before you set off your new journey, then the suggestion or the advice here is to actually overcome any trepidation that you may have and infuse your journey with an intention of safety and well-being 
I also feel that if you're in a space with people and if you are not feeling connected at the time, if you're not feeling like you can really enjoy what they are doing or saying, that this is actually going to be part of the energy and part of the norm. So don't take it on and don't take it personally and don't think that it has something to do with them or it has something to do with you. Just feel, just know that this is a space that um, that we are in right now or you are in right now. And don't take it to heart. Don't let it upset you. Don't let it disappoint you. Yeah, and so th those are the messages that I have for you for this week. I hope that resonated. I hope it helps you as you go along. And I'm wishing you, uh, those of you who celebrate Christmas, a very Merry Christmas. And uh, for those of you who observe the solstice, well, a happy solstice. And um, may you have a wonderful holiday period for those of you who are going to be on holiday right now. And many, many blessings to you all. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and blessings abound from Kismet Rising. <laughs>